Hey, what is up guys? Trix here. Welcome back to Terraria 1.2. But wait, this looks different, doesn't it? Hmm, huh, that's rather strange. Where where are we? Who's this strange ginger bearded man? Who kind of looks like Adam Ellis. Where are we? Well, well, I'll tell you where we are. We are in the world of Terraria Living Underground. My new Terraria series. Please note that this will not be replacing the Let's Play. It's just kind of like a new separate Let's Play. There's 77 episodes so far of this Let's Play. And so I'm kind of getting burned out. So I decided to try a, a new thing. The Let's Play is still going to uh, carry on. We still are going to beat the game and stuff. But we are also going to do this Let's Play just not as much. But what is Trivia Living Underground, you may ask? Well, if you recall a few months ago... When I finally returned back to YouTube after not having a computer and having so many problems, when I finally returned back to YouTube, I announced some new series and, sadly, the closure of some old series. But one of the new series I announced was called Terraria Living Underground, and I'm finally fulfilling that series and that promise. So, what do you do in Terraria Living Underground, you may ask? Well, the goal is to start out underground. As you can see, I'm in the cavern layer right now. And the only... You can only stay underground. There are some rules that I have written up for this challenge I've created. Number one, you may not go above ground. So, like, you can't step on any green grass. I guess that's a way you could classify it. But you may not go above ground. If you see the sky, you have to turn back. Number two, you may only go above ground at the dungeon if it is necessary to go to the dungeon to beat the Wall of Flesh, which is the goal of this series. The goal is to beat the Wall of Flesh. The goal is not to beat the entire game and beat Planetary and stuff. The goal is to beat the Wall of Flesh. And then finally, number three is I must always keep three inventory slots filled with stone. This gives me a bit more of a challenge as I have less space and stuff. So, in this chest I've given myself some items. I've given myself a mining helmet. I've given myself a silver pickaxe to speed up the process instead of a copper pickaxe just a little bit. I've given myself 50 wood to start off. The rest will have to come from cabins. And I've given myself three stacks of stone blocks that will fill up my inventory at all times. Are you ready to begin Terraria Living Underground? Because I certainly am. Let's do this. Ah, our first enemy, and he has been slain. We have slain the first enemy in Terraria Living Underground. Awesome. I see some gold up there. We're going to have to get to that, but we have no blocks yet. So let's just begin mining our way slowly but surely. Also, guys, this first episode, I don't know how I'm going to present this series. Uh, it might be edited, it might not be edited. And what I mean by edited is sort of like a jump cut, quick pace style. Or it may just be uh, 14 minutes, 15 minutes of me just straight commentary. So tell me what I should do in the comments below. Should I have an edited version? Or should I make it edited? Or should I make it uh, unedited? So tell me what you guys want in the comments below, and I will do that, because I like to listen to you, to your, y'all's opinion, and what you, what you think I should do. I'll probably edit this first episode a bit, but not a lot, and then from there on, I will see what you guys want me to do. So let's pick up this chest real quick. Oh, oh, first of all, I should go over my character before anything. So this is Ronald. He is... You can see where I got the inspiration from for his name. He is going to be our Terraria character. So if you look closely at him, the screen should zoom in right now, you'll see the, that he has flaming red ginger hair like Ronald Weasley. And that's kind of where I got inspiration for his name. He has extremely pale skin because he is, well, a ginger. He has got a faded green vest because green is cool and it's um, stained with chloroform from the plants that he used to know. He has a faded white undershirt because the color has faded from it. He has faded blue jeans because he's been living underground for so long and working in torchlight all the time. They've become faded and he has your dad's sparkling white new shoes that are actually 25 years old. 
Anyways, carrying on, that is Ronald. Oh, by the way, guys, if you would like to do this challenge for yourself, I will put the rules in the description below. And I'll probably also have this map up for down- No, no, actually. Yeah, I'll put this map up for download. That would be gonna, a good idea to duplicate it. I'll create a secondary map for you guys. No, you can just do it all you- Ah! Well, our first death. Good job. Good job, Ronald. The way you do this is you go into T-Edit. You, you create a new world. You go into T-Edit. You find a random cavern. You plop your spawn down there. You put a torch down. You uh, give yourself a mining helmet, a silver pickaxe, and 50 wood, and then three um, three stacks of stone. But you can do this however you want. I'm not going to judge you. And it's entirely up to you guys if you want to do this series or this challenge for yourself. It doesn't have to be a, a series. You can just challenge yourself to do it like this. But anyways, let's carry on. Ah, we have discovered quite a large patch of silt. Now, normally I wouldn't collect this much silt if I saw it. I... I might actually pick up some silt if I was just mining with one of my normal characters, but if we can find an extractinator, we can put this silt into it, and then we can get ourselves lots of ore. Ooh, look at all that amethyst. I just, oh, that might be enough for an amethyst hook. Awesome. We got 50 silt and a bunch of amethyst. Let's, let's mine all that up real quick, and then we can create a table. I believe it's only 10 to create an amethyst hook we will see let's put this down can I do it no no what what do I need for the amethyst hook I need the guide but sadly I don't do not have the guide ooh I just realized something I can't smelt anything until I have a furnace and to create a furnace you need torches and to create torches you need slime so we're gonna have to find a slime if we need a if we want to create a furnace but we might just be in luck because it looks like there's a cavern or a cave right below us so let's hop down here real quick and kill this cave bat I certainly hear ooh ooh ooh, ooh I hear zombie why is there a zombie goldfish goldfish is good oh there's some nice ore let's get that so real quick Ah, uh, that's um Tungsten, that's what it's called. Awesome, awesome. Let's go check out that. Ooh, I see a, a glowing snail or whatever it's called. I need one of those to fight Duke Fishron in my 1.2 LP. But there is a skeleton. Hopefully, he could give us a hook if we want to create a grappling hook. Let's tunnel up there. <gasps> we have it. Our first slime. That is very, very helpful. Oh, that, that bug is really hurting me. Whatever it is. The, uh... Cocktail beetle or whatever it's called, but we need to kill these because we really we desperately need to kill this slime We can't let it kill us. Come on. I don't have anything to heal me. Ah Flee flee. No dang it. Ah I dug up, but I couldn't get back down Ah Cock and eel beetle didn't even know that existed. We need to return back Let's hurry up because we need Hopefully that slime has not despawned, although it probably has. No worries, it was not that far away. Oh, I feel so slow and sluggish. Come on, we can get there. I can't swim yet, which is a problem. Ha! Yes, they haven't despawned. There's still hope. We can kill this slime, hopefully. It is going to be difficult, considering that we only have a silver pickaxe. That doesn't do that much damage. Okay, red husk. Awesome. Oh! Oh, we've got her now. We've got her now. Oh, don't don't give me blindness now. Oh, dang it. Got hit. It was a big hit. Oh, but we got ourselves some slime. That is good. Awesome. All right, let's let's just dig this back down real quick. All right, now let's head up here. We are at the mushroom biome. Let's get ourselves some dirt and jump up here just like this. Alright, come here, Mr. Pickaxe. Ooh, this is good. This might be a good place for our first house. So, oh, we're going up a, a layer. Oh, oh gosh, oh gosh, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Oh, I am royally screwed. Dang it. We were killed by a skeleton before we could even fight back. But there's a nice load of copper over there that I'm gonna go get. Alright, we're back at the mushroom biome. We need to grab these cobwebs for bed. 
I need to make this jump over here so I don't fall down here. Oh, oh, I didn't make it. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. This is going to hurt. This is really going to hurt, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I should probably extend that out a little bit because those guys aren't very friendly. All right. Back once again. We're going to build ourselves a nice little bridge over like this. There we go. So that we can make this sweet. We should find a way to slowly murder these skeletons. Oh, there we go. That that works. That works really well actually. <laughs> Didn't even expect that to happen. Okay, yeah, we're we're safe now. We can we can get our coinage. How much money do we have? We have six silver. That's awesome. Oh gosh. They are advancing. Yeah, let's retreat. Retreat. Come on. Retreat. Retreat. Oh, that's a lot of tungsten. I will not be slain. We are surrounded by glowing mushrooms, which is good because we can heal. Yes. Heal 50 health. Can I get him before he gets me? That is the question. Yes, I can. There's a worm coming. Come here, worm. Come here. Come here, worm. Come here. Good worm. Who's a good worm? Not you, because you're trying to murder me. Okay, come here, worm. Okay, this worm's going down. There we go. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. I think we should build a house for the guy. This is a lot of tungsten. I will come back to that. So, this is a nice area. Let's just tunnel up here real quick. And we can build our first house. Why is there a brown pressure plate? Oh! Oh gosh! Well then, that was not the warmest greeting. I don't like that. Oh, that's a lot of silt. Oh, that's a lot of silt. Alright, let's get down here and let's build our first house. So, enter awesome house time lapse. Alright guys, we have made a bit of progress so far in this series. What I'm going to do is, whenever I die, there's going to be a little counter in the corner that appears, and it'll say, like, deaths, uh, deaths this video or something, death count, and it will add one to the death count. And so, at the end of the video, I'll have something that shows up that says, deaths this video, and then deaths, or total deaths, at the very bottom, that will appear. So I'll have, during the video, whenever I die, there will be a death counter that appears, and then total deaths will also appear. But we have made a bit of progress so far. We have made a house. We just need to get uh, the guy to move into it, which we will do in just a second. We will request him. I just need a few more glowing mushrooms before I can do that so that I can make a chair. This is a nice resource rich area so let's there we go sweet all right let's create a mushroom chair down here awesome awesome so now we should be able to have the guide move in yes yes we can so the guide will now move in but anyways guys that's it for this first episode of living underground terraria living underground i should say if you would like to play this challenge for yourself the rules will be in the description below and 
Also, guys, if you like this video, if you like something new, then be sure to leave a like on it. It's the first episode. Let's aim for 15 likes. How about that? Um, maybe 10. Maybe 10, actually. Let's aim for 10 likes, okay? For the first episode. And also, guys... Oh, there's one more thing I was going to say. So, yeah, look out for the death counter. It's, this is going to be awesome. It's going to be edited. Tell me if you want it edited or unedited, and I'll listen to you guys. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, then be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for some more awesome content. I will see you all next time. Goodbye.